All right, guys, just a quick video for how to basically fix entity spawning uh, mechanics. So basically when you go ahead and set your entity to creature for natural spawn type, you'll probably notice that if you have custom grass or custom blocks in your dimension that they don't spawn on these, uh, you need to actually add a Minecraft tag to your mod, which will allow overriding that particular tag so entities can spawn on it. By default, it's just grass block, but there is another one in here called axolotls, which also has its own spawn tag, I'm pretty sure. So uh, with that being said, monsters will spawn pretty much anywhere, but uh, creatures have always had an issue where they require the grass block. We can actually um, go to Minecraft wiki and if you go to the tags page so uh, Minecraft wiki or Minecraft.wiki slash w slash tag uh, This will bring you to this particular folder or page and then you can basically go ahead and uh, By default there will be block section all the spawning tags can be found under here and some other valuable tags as well So for example animal spawn. This is the one that you'll need uh, or animal spawnable on, uh, which is grass block, and it says a whole bunch of stuff here that you'll be able to f um, figure out. So, um, I created a new folder on my projects um, workspace repository that is called documents. You can also get to the document folder from down here, and basically, in here. I'm going to be starting to put PDF files of useful um, documentation. So in this case, I have one called uh, useful entity tags. And this basically just groups all the spawnable tags for all the different types of entities for Minecraft. So you can see that um, specific entity only ones. And then these are the ones that are supported by uh, the M creator. So you can use these in your actual one. And then if you scroll down, you can also prevent players from spawning in certain blocks or on them. And there's also one for preventing entities from spawning. Uh, the default block is rails for that one. And I've listed the version, some notes about it, and the tag that you'll need. Now the tag will be Minecraft under the Minecraft namespace for the tag. And it will be a block tag itself. So in M Creator, we'll quickly make something up um, in just a second. And there's some more other useful entity tags that you can find down below. Okay, so say that you have a tag that you want to create your entity to spawn on your custom grass. So what you would do is you would go ahead and, well, first you would make sure that it's a creature and that the behavior is under creature as well. So um, this can be a mob if you really wanted to, but um, just note that creature will basically not be targeted by iron golems and stuff. So in some cases you might want that. And then what you want to do is you want to create a new tag and we'll just call it DDDD because I'm lazy. And then we'll paste that particular tag registry for the tag that we want in here. It needs to be under the Minecraft namespace and it needs to be a block. And then what you would do is you would basically assign your grass blocks or your dirt or whatever you want for the surface material of your dimension. So in my case, I would be generating the grass blocks and I would have specific entities that I would want to spawn on that particular block. So I'd basically select it and then I would save this. And then in any particular um, dimension for the entity that I've basically created, I would want to make sure that either it's set up through the biome for the spawn rate. So either I go to the biomes and then we can go ahead and go to entity spawn and create an entry here and then select our um, entity that we want and then the type of spawn type which would be cr uh, creature and then the weight and all the other stuff that we would want to um, set so the group size how many entities would spawn in that group and the weight for that so the other option is to do it through entity if your entity is custom you will have this option and you'll be able to set the spawn weight uh, the 
maximum group and then you'll be able to set what biomes you want them to spawn in. So you have a couple options for spawning custom entities through this method. Uh, with that being said, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.